Hi, this is Rian from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, I'll be enabling and configuring application control and URL filtering blades in Checkpoint Firewall R81. You must have a contract for application control and URL filtering for each security gateway on which these blades are enabled. This is in addition to the security gateway license. New installations and upgrade installations include a 30-day trial license and contract for it. If you do not have a valid contract for a security gateway, the application control blade and the URL filtering blade will be disabled. This is the lab topology which I am using in this lab guide. And this is a Windows 10 virtual machine. On this VM, I have installed the smart console dashboard. Let's jump over there. In the first step, I'm going to enable application and URL filtering blade on our security gateway. And for that, I'm going to double click on my security gateway name MBN R81-GW01. Under network security, I'm going to select application control and URL filtering. And after that, I'm going to click on this OK button. Next, I'm going to click on publish. Click on publish again to save the changes. And then after, I'm going to click on install policy. Next, I'm going to enable application and URL filtering in the access control policy. And to do so, I'm going to click on security policies. Then after, I'm going to right click on policy, select the added policy. Make sure that Access control policy type is selected. Under access control, I'm going to double click in this empty area. Let's select applications and URL filtering checkbox. And after that, you can also select this checkbox to share this with other policy layer as well. Click OK. Click OK again. Again, I'm going to click on publish to save the changes. Next, I'm going to create an application control and URL filtering policy to block access to Facebook website. But before I create an application control policy, I want to check access to the Facebook website first. This is our Windows 7 VM that is part of our LAN network with the IP address 192.168.22.7. Let's open Google Chrome web browser on this computer and type https colon double slash www.facebook.com and then press enter key. As you can see, user can access Facebook without any issue at this moment. Now I'm going to close Google Chrome web browser and let's go back to the management client. Now I'm going to create a new policy and for that I'm going to right click in this rule number 4 and select new rule below the existing rule. Let's give name block access to Facebook. Okay, uh, land segment is going to be our source. Fine. All internet is going to be the destination. Under services, I'm going to click on this plus icon and type Facebook. Click on plus icon to add it. Remember, hide behind gateway NAT is configured for a LAN network object. Okay. Action is going to be dropped as I want to block the access to the Facebook application. Uh, you can click over here. And for drop, you can put a block message so user can get the information that why this website is blocked. Fine, and we, I want to put that. I also want to generate log and that's why I'm going to select log. And let's select our security gateway which is MBN R81GW01. I'm going to click on publish to save the changes. And then after I'm going to click on install policy to push the policy onto our security gateway. Again, we will get the warning about the license and contracts. Click on install policy to continue.
click on details okay here we are still receiving warning uh, actually you are you are seeing warning here but it is all about the license status fine so you can ignore it click on close and now let's go back to the windows 7 virtual machine to test the newly created policy again i'm going to open google chrome web browser and let's again type facebook okay let's try to access facebook again and this time user is not able to access the facebook.com website that means application control policy is working perfectly fine for us let's go back to our windows 10 virtual machine and select rule number 5 and i'm going to click on logs to see the logs entry double click on this log entry let me maximize it here we can get the information this is the source IP address 192.168.22.7. This is the port, destination IP address, action is rejected. Here you can get more information about that rule and you can also click on match rule. Rule number 5, block access to Facebook. And here we can get the more information about the session as well. Okay. Application site name Facebook and a category is social networking, additional categories low risk social networking. HTTPS traffic rejected from the IP address 192.168.22.7 to the Facebook. In this lab guide, we have learned the steps to create an application control and URL filtering policy to block access to the Facebook website or Facebook application. Thank you for watching. See you all in the next lab guide.